At some point in our lives, we all struggle with loneliness. There are many things in this life that will get you in that feelings. However, this year, many of us, through no fault of our own, find ourselves in a state of loneliness. With the current global pandemic, we were forced to go on lockdown. This one act took many of us to a place of uncertainty, lack of control without having the ability to come and go as we were used to. Whether you are going through something hard that you do not think anyone else understands, or you're facing a change in life where you just feel alone, God's words provides hope and strength. There is someone that is always with you, and his name is Jesus Christ. He is your friend and your comforter. We live in a world that is constantly moving with lots of people everywhere. Unfortunately, this world can get very lonely. Despite all the social media available for us to connect with others, you find many people feel disconnected and lonely. Loneliness is a common struggle for all of us. Today I pray that your battle with loneliness can draw you closer to God. There is no other way to fight it. God is the only way that we can win this battle of loneliness. Today I want to remind you you're not alone. The Bible had many people that went to periods of loneliness. Imagine the loneliness Agar and Ismael felt in Genesis 21 when they were sent out of the house with nothing. Verse 14 tells us early the morning Abraham took some food and skin of water and gave them to Hagar. He set them on her shoulders and then sent her off with the boy. She went on her way and wandered in the desert of Beersheba. The good thing is God heard her cry and rescued her and her son. Remember the loneliness of the bleeding woman in Mark 5 verse 25-34. She was bleeding for 12 long years. Her sickness has isolated her from others because she was unclean. Verse 25 to 26 tells us, and a woman was there who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years. She had suffered a great deal under the care of many doctors and had spent all she had. Yet instead of getting better, she grew worse. There are many others in the Bible that had the moment of loneliness, like Elijah, King David, Jeremiah, to name a few. I want you to know God loves you. Jesus came to die for you. God knows you. And even despite all your issues, He laid down His life for you. James 4 verse 8 tells us, Draw near to God. He will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. The best way to fight loneliness is by pouring your heart out to God, who listens and hears you. So today we are going to spend time focusing on Bible promises about loneliness. God offers us every day in His goodness and love through His words. Confess the scriptures over your loved ones and yourself. Remember that as you confess them, no weapon formed against you will prosper. Isaiah 54 verse 17. Let's begin. Deuteronomy 4 verse 31. For the Lord your God is a compassionate God. He will not fail you nor destroy you, nor forget the covenant with your fathers. He has swore to them. Deuteronomy 31 verse 6 Be strong and courageous, do not be afraid or tremble at them. For the Lord your God is the one who goes with you. He will not fail you or forsake you. Deuteronomy 33 verse 27 The eternal God is a dwelling place, and underneath are the everlasting arms. And he drove out the enemy from before you and said, Destroyed. Samuel 12 verse 22 for the Lord will not abandon his people on account of his great name, because the Lord has been pleased to make you a people for himself. Psalms 46 verse 1 God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Psalms 27 verse 10 For my father and my mother have forsaken me, but the Lord will take me up. Psalms 147 verse 3 He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Isaiah 41 verse 10 Do not fear for I am with you. Do not anxiously look about for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Surely I will help you. Surely I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 54 verse 10 For the mountains may be removed and the hills may shake, but my loving kindness will not be removed from you, and my covenant of peace will not be shaking, says the Lord who has compassion on you. Matthew 28 verse 20 teaching them to observe all that I commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of age. John 14 verse 1 
Do not let your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. John 14, verse 18. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. Romans 8, verse 38 to 39. I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created things will be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8, verse 35 to 37. Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Will tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? But in all these things, we overwhelmingly concur through him who loves us. Hebrews 13 verse 5. Make sure that your character is free from the love of money. Be content with what you have. For he himself has said, I will never desert you, nor will I ever forsake you. And 1 Peter 5 verse 7. Casting all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Amen. Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. I ask that you take away this feeling of loneliness from my heart. Your word says, if I call upon you, you will answer me. Today, Lord, I need you and I need your intervention in this time of need. Father, I seek the grace to always find comfort in the midst of people who fear you. People who love you dearly and obey your words. Grant me the grace to always find comfort in your word in the name of my Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.